Hey everyone, Steven with Coral Daily here. Thank you for joining me today. And uh, today we're actually gonna have an upside down look into my main display tank. Um, just a fair warning, there's quite a bit of uh, algae bloom going on in here. Uh, not really sure what's going on. I think the temperature fluctuation is springtime. Um, right now it's actually bouncing to a warmer temperature so again it's affecting how the overall system is reacting to some of the temperature fluctuation um, you know it is a large system again in 900 900 gallons so it's a little bit difficult for uh, temperature to fluctuate but at the same time if it does fluctuate it also take a while to come back so um, without further ado let me step up here and um, here is the top view of the tank I'm gonna have one of these guys to allow you to look down and then I am going to prepare a pointer because we are going to discuss, um, discuss what had happened to my Gigas clam and um, what was the essentially the remedy that I used against it. And, uh, let me just crank this so the camera can kind of lay down facing downwards. Okay, so to the Gigas. Um, about two months ago, well, let me start from the beginning. The Gigas clam kind of was sitting here, and even as large as a clam and heavy as this Gigas clam, which is about a foot across, it still moves. So, um, since I put it back from a hospital tank, it's moved about six inches towards the left. I think it just kind of like the lighting on that direction a little bit better. Anywho, I used to have the Gigas Clan kind of sit around here, and then that clump of clownfish and um, anemone was sitting right about where the Gigas Clan is here. There's about five, four or five inches between the tip of the anemone and the Gigas Clan's uh, mantle extension. So, you know, I wasn't really worried about it until one day the Gigas clam actually moved itself enough that it was actually coming into contact with anemone. So what had happened is that, that this corner here, um, this corner of the clam, you can see a little bit lighter color. That's the part that got burned by the anemone. It was there for a few days and then it started retracting. Almost this entire left side of the clam was retracted into the shell. And what follows is that that part got bacterial infection, it just got nasty, the clam was starting to close up. Um, so then what I did is I put it in a freshwater dip for a, go for a good 40 minutes. And then after the freshwater dip, I put it back into the main tank. I can see dead bacteria like slime start to ooze out of where the, the dead cells and the shell was. So what happened at that time Actually kind of like a blessing is that a lot of my tanks and my angelfish are tend to feed off all those dead, dead cells and the slimes. Basically clean it up, you know. Um, in the wild, angels and uh, tanks are both considered cleaner fish. So they clean up the, the, the Gigas clam. However, all that irritation causing the Gigas clam to really want to close up all the time. So what I did then is uh, I moved the Gigas clam to one of my nursing tanks or the grow tanks back where you can see there's a lot of soft coral. So let me just take you there real quick so that you can have a visual of uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, this tank back here. That's where this spot is where I had a Gigas clam sitting for maybe a good two to three weeks along next to this guy. So anyways, the Gigas clan totally and fully recovered while sitting there. Super blessed to see that. And then I drop it back into the main tank. And now, let me just go back to the top view because that's my favorite view for looking at all the clams. So now it's back in the middle of everything and middle of the attention. Again, um, thanks to my friend, he uh, gave me the Gigas clam. He actually raised it from maybe like a three inch little thing and uh, eventually it grew to about eight or nine inches. And once this clam has been in my tank, it's grown maybe another two to three inches. So now it's a whole foot across, um, actually vertically, probably not horizontally. But if you look at all my fish, they're like four to five inches. 
between four to five inches so you kind of get an idea how big this gigas climb is so that's my story to share for today um just basically watch out for anemones um fortunately fortunately for me these guys have not moved or walked it just kind of sweeping out its tentacles and never really extended it the gigas actually did it to himself so the gigas time was walking towards it so that's just one lesson um be careful where you put your clams, you know, even if you have initially put it in a safe spot, over time they may start creeping towards a spot where they may get harmed. So just, you know, be careful and keep an eye out for it. So that's it for today. Uh, thank you for joining me and I hope you come back and uh, enjoy my chat next time. Thank you, bye.